Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. I don't know if anybody saw the thing on 60 Minutes last night about the opioid epidemic or crisis. Being a chronic pain sufferer, when I hear anything about that, I always perk up and want to see what's going on. It's like, why do I have such a hard time getting my pain prescriptions? And um, it was kind of interesting and kind of disturbing both. Um, there's a guy on there, and this guy used to work for the DEA. He was a investigator, um, and uh, one of the head guys, actually. And he kind of got kicked to the curb and replaced. And um, he was saying that uh, they've been passing new laws that kind of protect the drug companies. He said there's three major drug companies, pharmaceutical, com pharmaceutical companies, that are kind of the suppliers to the uh, pharmacies, kind of the middleman, I guess. And um, they're supposed to keep tabs on how many, um, you know, narcotic painkillers are delivered. And, you know, if there's a red flag, they're supposed to uh, report it to the DEA. And um, they're not doing that. So, um, and, you know, he was saying that um, these big companies are basically buying off people that work for the DEA to go to work for them. I think I saw there's like 46 people that used to work for the DEA that are now working for these pharmaceutical companies, investigators and attorneys and stuff like that. And they know all the little loopholes and you know, all the stuff, because they were prosecutors at one time. So um, it sounds like they're getting paid now to, to uh, look out for these big drug companies that are um, distributing all these painkillers. And he's saying it's like, you know, millions and millions of pills. You know, so little people like us, like the chronic pain patients, who are getting our little bottle or two of pills er uh, every month, that's nothing compared to what these uh, companies are distributing. And they're going to like these uh, pharmacies and doctors. What, what it, the way he explained it, basically drug dealers with a lab coat. Basically, they just sell them to anybody, people that are not legitimate. Now, the way this guy talked is he doesn't really have a problem with chronic pain patients who, legit, who are legitimate and actually need need the medication. I know we get down on the DEA and criticize them all the time, but I don't know if they're necessarily against us. We're just kind of the, the um, you know, we just kind of get overlooked in the whole thing. And um, we're the ones who suffer. And the thing is, we're suffering. I keep getting comments in my uh, on some of my videos. I've had a couple people say they had family members commit suicide because they were in so much pain they couldn't get their you know their pain medication they commit suicide so that's happening among the chronic pain patients and sufferers and then this big epidemic is still going on so the drug addicts the people that are addicted to it they're dying as well so it, it's really not working it's not it's not saving anybody so um, it's kind of interesting I, I'm gonna put the link um, to the 60 minutes video below so you guys can can watch it I found a couple of clips from it online you know so you guys can watch it for yourself and kind of understand it better I'm not very good at remembering names and numbers and all that kind of thing so I really don't want to try to do that I'd rather just let you guys google it and look it up for yourself but it's kind of interesting and pretty disturbing at the same time I just saw um, watched a video before I did this where they were asking um, President Trump if he saw that and what his response uh, to that was and he just said he's gonna look into it Said they're gonna be working on it next week so he really didn't have anything much to say about it so um, you know I don't know really if he knows that much about it or not hard to say so um, I just thought that was interesting I thought that I'd pass that along to you guys and if you guys watched the videos or you saw it on 60 Minutes, leave a comment and let me know what you guys think about it. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time.